fuck is up. You already know what the fuck time it is. It's another episode of the goddamn Nasty Sports Update. Today, we are sponsored, yet unsponsored by, the ending of D2 The Mighty Ducks. I paid my dues, time after time, I have did my sentence, but committed no crime, in bad mistakes, I've made a few, y'all know the rest of this song, on and on and on, we are the champions, my friend, and we'll keep on fighting, Till the end. Dun, dun, dun. The fuck, nigga? Let's get into a few fucking topics, but you only know the one biggest topic that we talking about today. LeBron. Four rings. I told you last week. I told you two weeks ago. I told you six months ago. I told you soon as the motherfucking shit opened back up. I told you when the season opened up and niggas was like, ooh, the Clippers. I seen... Kenny the Jet Smith say, bum ass Kawhi Leonard made LeBron James look unathletic. I heard niggas say AD only scored zero points in the fourth quarter in the first game of the year. Niggas was talking about game one. I seen Skip, bum ass, bitch ass Bayless say, game one, you already know who the new king of LA is. Y'all niggas was talking about game one. Game one of the regular season. These niggas was up 3-1 and got their ass bust. I keep hearing niggas say, well, they got lucky because, you know, the Clippers, they dodged the Clippers. How the fuck you dodge a team that lost? If I'm there and I'm waiting on you to get here, and you decide, and you crash your car. I didn't dodge you, nigga. You didn't make it to the race. Fuck is wrong with these people? Easiest championship ever. I bet not. I bet you all of them niggas that was in that bubble going crazy, crying. Niggas was over there. My mental health. Now, I, I'm all for mental health advocacy, but... Clearly, it wasn't easy when everybody in that bitch talking about, man, food bad. Man, I'm sleeping in the bed. I can't get no cheeks. Niggas like, well, Daniel House fucked it all up for the Rockets. Well, Daniel House was trying to fuck a housekeeper. That ain't got nothing to do with us. You got bitches in there giving the COVID test. You think niggas ain't trying to run up in cheeks? It's all caused by niggas needing to have a little bit more uh, uh, determination. Don't be mad because the most determined niggas won. Don't be saying, oh, it's the heat for it because they got to the fucking finals and the niggas that other niggas said was supposed to get there didn't get there. I don't give a fuck. Nigga, they blew the Bucks ass out. That ain't our fault. That's Giannis bum ass fault. That's the second time that shit happened to him in the playoffs. So it ain't no fluke. What? The, it, the Celtics, what about them? Kimba out there, Boing, Boingy Boys Incorporated. Bam out of bio, blocking that nigga Jason Tatum shot at the rim. That ain't got nothing to do with us. Only thing that got to do with us is rings, nigga. 17 for LA. Number four for the Bronny. For, for the king. For the king. Y'all niggas want to talk all of that, all of that noise. All of that noise all year. He can't do it in the West. He was in the Eastern Conference. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. As soon as he left the East, what happened? Giannis won back-to-back MVPs. Are you telling me that Giannis is better than Brown when Brown was going to the fucking finals? Y'all already know what time it is. Haters everywhere. Uh, Clipper Daryl, I shouted you out the other day in the, uh, on the IG live, on the IG uh, story. I seen you looking, bum-ass nigga. You called that nigga Prince James the day he passed the ball out to Danny Green. Your team is at home. Y'all the little sisters of the goddamn Lakers. Fuck is you talking about? Skip Bayless. Skip Gayless. Skip Sayless. Skip, you get your shoes from Payless. Them fake Jordans, nigga. I don't give a fuck how much money you got. I don't care how many chains Lil Wayne give you. You still a fucking bitch, boy. Fuck out of here, nigga. You always want to hate. 
nigga LeBron drop goddamn trip dub in the finals and you gonna still come out and say shit was easy. Yeah, you damn right it's easy when you the fucking king. And niggas ain't trying to stack up teams to beat you. Whole motherfucking league want to get together to motherfucking try to put you out. And you talking about Kevin Dur Durant and Kyrie Irving. Like, Kyrie Irving ain't only win his one championship with a one man, who we know is LeBron. And Kevin Durant d lost to the motherfucking Warriors and then had to take his bum ass to the Warriors. And get with a 73-9 and nine team that we came back 3-1 on and beat in the finals the year before. Niggas got just some weird ass logic, bro. Just weird ass logic, dog. But it don't matter. We champs. Brian want his respect. Nigga, I want my respect. Suck my dick. Ten toes down. You feel me? The fuck is you talking about? Nigga, champions. I paid my dues time after time. Nigga, the hell is you talking about? Shout out to Live Aid. Nigga. Hey, listen. You niggas in Florida, craziest people in the world, bro. Y'all niggas was talking about packing out stadiums and shit, right? Packing the swamp out. Packing the Dolphins uh, stadium out. All of that shit came to a screeching halt, didn't it? How y'all niggas get 20 positive tests talk about, nigga, the swamp's gonna be filled for LSU versus Florida. And them niggas like, yeah, we ain't playing football no more. Can't. 19 niggas done got motherfucking Aroni. See, that be that dumb shit. Y'all got a dumbass governor. You got a dumbass team. You got some dumbass people that always do dumbass shit. Now, don't get it twisted. I know. Florida niggas is the craziest motherfuckers in the world. I want no smoke. No smoke. Smoke this. Smoke this on. Nigga, but... That don't, that's because you crazy don't mean you can't get infected, nigga. That's your coaches for it. That's your state for it for just blatantly thinking that this shit is over when it ain't. And just because Lil Duval tell y'all niggas don't worry, be happy. Nigga, you need to worry so you can stay happy. Take that for some goddamn advice. Fuck is y'all problem? LSU already told you all of they players got the shit. Nigga, like, the fuck is y'all niggas on? Man. Shit, Ronaldo got the Rony. Everybody got the Rony, nigga. Don't get it twisted. Uh, uh, Cam coming back. I feel like, man, we ain't played a, a good down of football. These niggas playing football games on Tuesday night. They playing when JV play. They got the NFL niggas playing when JV play. Wednesday night lights. Thursday night lights. These niggas are down there playing in practice unis. This shit is starting to get disrespectful, dog. And I know what, no matter what, y'all trying y'all hardest to motherfucking get this season over with. But let me tell you, you got niggas when you don't play games, got motherfucking Melvin Gordon out there getting the damn DUIs. Want to know why? Because niggas ain't playing when they supposed to be fucking playing. Niggas is stupid, bro. Niggas is stupid. Hey, before we get out of here, want to send a, send a, Play, prayer and a blessing. Damn, can't talk. Hey, Tom. Um, I want to send a prayer up for my man Dak Prescott. I know I'm the biggest cowboy hater in the world, but I still can't fuck with injuries, especially black quarterbacks, especially niggas that just got there trying to play football. Just want to make sure we give you a huge shout out. Hey, but this has been another episode of the greatest, the dopest sports commentary in under 10 minutes. We'll see you next time.